Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my Spigot series. In this episode, I'm going to give you an introduction to what you're going to be learning and expecting in this new series. All right, so this is called the Spigot MC Plugin Dev Tutorial, Development Tutorial. In this series, you're going to be learning how to make Spigot plugins or just Minecraft plugins using the Spigot library. And you're going to be able to do many things, uh, which I'll explain in a second. So some interesting stats before we begin. Obviously, um, this video has come before all of like most of the episodes. So I'm just recording this way later um so i'm just going to give you some interesting stats so far from what we have so far so as of uh may 30th 2021 or 29th we have 199,659 views in the series totally and we have hundreds of people who learn to make mc plugins so yeah i get dm'd all the time or when i'm streaming people say hey you helped me now i'm making plugins and i'm selling plugins for people um it's really it's incredible to get that kind of feedback and so um, since those, since so many people have been helped, I'm sure that you'll be helped, um, by the series if you decide to watch it. And we have 68 episodes so far. This will be the 69th total, uh, technically. So, uh, yep. And, uh, it's not even finished. I still have many, many episodes to record. I have lots of plans for this series and we're going to go over 100 for sure. And I'll be upgrading the videos over time slowly as things evolve. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully you're excited for that. But again, uh, it's helped lots of people, so I hope that's like a, a sign for you to try and watch this series so that uh, it'll help you begin your MC plugin coding career, <laughs> if that's something that you want to do. Or maybe you just want to test your knowledge in the Java language and you know try doing something. This would be another way to do that. So what you will learn in this series is the basics like commands and events, how to do you know slash commands like slash kill or stuff like that, or even events, which is everything you'll, you'll learn all about that of course but that's the basics and then you learn advanced topics like um, file operations databases um, let's see uh, menu managers like a thing I came up with to do complex inventory menus and stuff like that command manager um, particles uh, what else NMS packets stuff like that those are very advanced topics and uh, many more to come, like I said. So in the series, you'll have many videos on specific topics, like for stuff that I want you to learn. But then in between the series, like many, many videos in the series are actually just plugins that I code through for you guys to see how to code an actual plugin. So that helps you practice your new skills and solidify what you learn in the videos so that you can, uh, you know, learn how to actually learn, right? Like you can't just watch a video once and then understand it. You actually need to practice what you learn. So I have many different plugins so you guys can code with me to uh, test your skills out. And also I'm going to be showing tricks to make the coding process easier, um, like just things you can use and stuff to improve your coding process. And besides that, there's many more things, but um, I'll just be doing everything I can come up with. And you can also leave suggestions in the comment section below and also in our Discord uh, server. Okay, so here's some of the prerequisites that you need to know to be able to start using the Spigot library to make MC plugins. So first of all, this is the most important thing. You need to be proficient in the Java language. Um, if you're not, then I will recommend a series at the top right, and also there will be a link for it in the, de the description below. It's my series, and it's very big, and uh, you can learn the Java language. It has everything you need to know to learn Java for this series, so you can go back and watch that series. Or even if you want to, I don't really recommend this, but if you want to, some people like to watch both series at the same time. Um, but it is recommended that you learn Java first, so that when you come into Spigot, you'll actually understand Java, and it'll make the, the learning process a lot easier for you, because a lot of people struggle just purely because they don't know Java, and Java is the language behind the Spigot language in Minecraft too. Not Spigot language, I mean uh, Spigot library in Minecraft. So some of the things you need to know in the Java language are advanced topics. Well, of course, all the basics, but also advanced topics like collections, streams, generics, threads, everything like that. And of course, like I said, check out my Java series if you want to, or there's many other ones that I uh, that are out there for you to check out. And of course, you need to have Minecraft. You need to know how, to, how Minecraft works, obviously, to make Minecraft plugins. And then you're going to need a test server. So I have a link in the description for this as well, and you should see it at the top right, a little pop-up. Um, go check out that video, and I'll show you how to make a test server so you can uh, test your plugins after coding them. And then finally, you need a Java IDE to you know code in Java. This will obviously... Be something you already have if you know the java language but i recommend you get intellij idea it's a free ide and it has a minecraft plugin so that you can easily create minecraft plugin templates and stuff like that so this is what i'll be using in this course or series and uh, that's what i recommend for you guys intellij idea not eclipse a lot of people back in the day used eclipse but intellij idea is like the new top ide for java okay all right so how do you get help in this series whenever you need it 
So first of all, get involved in the community. We have a Discord server where you can find other coders and enthusiastic about Minecraft and programming. Um, not just for Minecraft, even just other things like C++, uh, web development, Java programming in general. So you can uh, you can get help on whatever you're stuck on. You can also get some friends, you know, other coder friends. That would be kind of cool if you don't have any friends. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can just hang out. You can ask for help. You can do whatever you want. It's a really big community and it's growing quickly. So check out the link for that in the description below. There'll be a ton of links there for this episode. And so below each video, I'll also leave a link to the code for this episode. So like, for example, if I show you a video on how to make commands and I code it through in IntelliJ, at the, um, at the end of the video, I'll upload that code to GitLab or GitHub, and then I'll leave a link for that in the description below so you can check out the code and then go back to it anytime. You can bookmark it so that if you forget the concepts, you can just come back to it easily and just read the code to understand it better without having to rewatch the video. Um, although I do appreciate your views, of course. So... So don't forget to check out the description of every single video. I'll leave tons of resources like that for you guys. And that's actually it. It's a very basic video, but this is an introduction to my Spigot MC plugin development tutorial. Um, hopefully you're excited to learn. Uh, a lot of people have learned a lot, so I hope you will too. All right, so make sure to join our Discord community and good luck. See ya. Bye.